Hello everyone, welcome to Her Courage to Plan. My name is Megan. Today's video, I've got to go ahead and do our mid-month check for the month of December. Now, if this is your first time watching our video and you missed the monthly budget setup, I will leave it linked up above and you can go back and check it out. I've also completed our paycheck budget number one closeout and it actually mirrors our paycheck budget number one, but because we have the MM checks, which is the mid-month check, we need to make sure that we complete it. And the reason why I like doing the monthly budget mid-month check is because it just happens to give us that extra layer of accountability. Now, if you're liking this spread, guys, this is part of my December monthly budget kit that I do have in my Etsy shop. It is now part of the grab bags. So I have November and I have December. And guys, some of those bags are full premium kits. You get your monthly budget, you get your calendar for your plum paper planner, you get paycheck budgets, and you get a host of different trackers, payday stickers, guys they are at an awesome deal so if you are interested the link is down below in the, the description box to my etsy shop now for our mid-month check now for hubs we did plan 2302 to be deposited into this joint household account and actually for mid-month check we had a total of 1402 to be deposited in this account and then for me at mid-month check, we had $700. And then the rollover here, guys, the rollover is actually in our paycheck budget number two. So we're not accounting for it at mid-month. So at $1,402 and $700, mid-month, we are at $2,102 as far as our income. For tithe and offering, mid-month we gave three hundred and eight dollars total so far and for those that are new to the channel uh, my husband and i we do allocate a portion of our paychecks direct deposited into this joint household account and we pay bills from this joint household account now we still have our personal accounts where we have a little bit of money that's direct deposited and that's just for our personal expenditures but the bulk of our money goes into this joint household account so that we can pay our household bills. And that has been working well for us thus far. So at mid-month check, our mortgage came in at 502. Netflix came in at 1599. And guys, I talked about this in paycheck budget number one. Netflix notified us last week that as of January 6th, they're going up on the bill. It's gonna be 1799 starting next year. And that is one of the items that we're already having to update for our annual budget. Now, if you missed our 2021 annual budget, I'll leave that linked up above where I completed it on paper and pen. And I also did one in Excel. So I'll leave both of those videos linked up above. But um, this is our first time doing a annual budget, guys. I knew that we were gonna have to, you know, do some updates, but I just didn't think it was gonna be this soon, but hey they are going up i don't know if you've gotten your notice but we have internet came in at 63.77 youtube at 11.99 our electricity and guys i talked about this our electricity bill now we got a notice that they're moving to a new billing system they're getting the software upgrade and what they failed to put in the letter is that you know, when are they gonna be finished with these upgrades? So in the meantime, everybody that's on budget billing has to come off of budget billing because it's obviously the old system. Now I'm thinking I may have to update this here on our 2021 annual budget. I'm not really sure, but it's not gonna be a set amount. That's what the budget billing is. It's a set amount for 12 months. And I tried to call guys and I was left on hold for a long time and it ended up transferring to their answering service. But you would think that if you're going to send out a notice to all customers that are on budget billing, you would have an estimated transition date of, you know, completion. Even if it's six months down the road, give us some type of date. But what's going to happen is guys, the bills are going to fluctuate every month. So we will not have this set amount. And I don't like that guys because we are in an older home and our electricity, it fluctuates. So that's just gonna be, you know, something different that we have not had to deal with in years. 
So that is gonna be interesting, guys, it really is. I'm gonna try to give them a call again and see if I can get through to someone, but I'm not gonna be stressing out about it. But I just thought it was a little tacky that they couldn't give you a little bit of information or at least an estimated time of their new transition to this new system. Car insurance, of course, this was not due during this here period. And we are mid month up until around the 15th of the month. So Hulu, that was not due. AT&T, of course, not due. Life insurance, now our pest control, we did pay it and that's every other month. And our lawn service, of course, is due at the end of the month. And when we get down here to the groceries, guys, right now we have spent a total of $396.57, which is awesome. I share with you guys in the paycheck budget number one that in our last grocery shopping trip, I was able to earn $31.45 from Ibotta on that receipt. And that is by far the most that I've been able to, you know, earn from Ibotta guys. And it's just awesome. Somewhere I got a $10 bonus and then I got an extra 50 cents from like the cat treats because I bought some cat treats that were on sale and they happened to have an Ibotta rebate on it. And even without those two rebates or extra bonuses, guys, I still would have earned over $20. So I was so excited to see that. And I'm going to leave that in the account just, you know, for a little bit longer because once I cash out of Ibotta, I want to use that as part of our 2021 savings challenge. And of course, I'll share with you all the amount that I was able to, you know, receive back as rebates from Ibotta. And if you're interested in Ibotta, I do have a uh, code down below that you can use if you want to try Ibotta, guys, because it is awesome. I'm really enjoying that. Now, I was on Fetch Rewards, which was just easy. Scan the receipts and you see the points add up. But I am still rocking with an old cell phone, guys. And when they did their recent update, my old Android is not supported. I was like, oh, well, even though with Fetch Rewards, you are able to redeem your points for gift cards. With Ibotta, this is basically cash. It goes to your PayPal account and you can, you know, have it deposited to your bank account. I'm okay with that as long as Ibotta still works with my phone, guys. Let's just hope that doesn't go away. When we get to our house supplies at mid-month, guys, we spent a total of $43.18. And we have not spent any money on gas yet. Our insurance membership is not due. And we haven't spent any money on the buffer. When I total up these here expenditures at mid-month, and I'm not going to speed the video along. It's not going to take me long to get these in. It's just a few expenditures. And we'll see exactly where we are for our mid-month check. We are at... 1379.31 thus far. We did have 2572 for the whole month as planned, and at mid-month we are at 1379.31. So now we can go ahead and update our savings for our household. That comes out at the end of the month, so there's nothing there. Now son's tuition that was taken care of for the 150. Our vacation, now our vacation only got $74.11 for paycheck number one. And then the remainder to add up to the $350, it'll come out of paycheck budget number two. Now the pets, they did get their $50. And then taxes, you all know that I just put this in as a line item so that when we do our January budget, I won't, you know, forget it. It'll help jog my memory that that tax account as far as a um, new category, that's what's going on for 2021. So down here, guys, I get here to the monthly overview and I can go ahead and plug in these numbers, but let me go ahead and first total the savings. And then that way we can be done with this. All right, so our total savings thus far is at 274.11. So now the total income at MM check, which is the mid-month check, is at 2102. Our giving has come in at 308. 
thus far. Our expenses are at the $13.79.31. And then our savings have come in at the $274.11. So we should have the same as paycheck one. So $2102 minus $308. Minus 1379.31 minus 274.11. Yep, we have $140.58 that we have left over thus far for our mid month check. We are looking pretty good, guys. We have done really well thus far with the groceries. We haven't gotten any gas just yet and we did come below in the giving overall we're looking pretty good all right guys so stay tuned i still have a bunch of videos to get out to you guys as we wrap up december and start 2021 strong now leave me a comment down below if you do mid-month checks how's your mid-month budget check-in going thus far for the month of december guys and you already know the deal i'm gonna see you later all right bye